Um, I'm Larry. Um, <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, <laughs> the, depending on what forums you might be on, I'll be on there as either computer controls or asset hazard. Um, I have my usual array of Roland and Roland inspired boxes. Nothing real exciting. Um, a small 6U modular that does cost me $21,000. Um, <laughs> um, I have I brought Ableton with me. Um, I have the D16 software drum machines, the 808, 909, and 606. Want to check those out. I also have the uh, audio damage tattoo uh, drum machine as well, which sounds pretty good. Um, if you guys want to come up and play with those, you're welcome to. Um, I got various uh, modules in my system from other local guys. Um, I have some of the Flight of Harmony stuff, one of which is, is the VAMP. Uh, that she touched on briefly. Um, basically what that is, is it's a VCA um, that can morph between, um, I guess it's just um, audio um, amplitude modulation through to ring modulation. Um, and it's got a one got two mod, uh, two modulation inputs, um, the first of which is what goes between amplitude and ring mod. The second one, I'm still not totally sure um, what it does. Kevin could probably explain it better, but I don't think <laughs> we're playing without. He's up to it. Um, I also have the Sound of Shadows, as she mentioned, um, which is a, uh, it's based off a of digital delay chip, um, which, funnily enough, is the same chip that's in the uh, Dan Electro Fab Echo uh, delay pedal, which I have down there. Um, but it's broken out into all sorts of crazy raw controls. Um, it can get pretty chaotic if you let it. Um, <laughs> I'll probably do a quick demo there. I have some of Scott's stuff as well as filter and then the uh, multiple. Um, I have a couple of the other scats. I have this uh, polybox filter with the Hertz donut. Um, I think the rest is mostly just depth for stuff. I have the bubble sound, um, I don't know, micro LFO or U LFO, whatever the hell you want to call it. There's nothing micro about it. Um, MFB dual ADSR. Tip that audio, C3000, VCF. A lot of the same stuff I had last year. You're out of the club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, one, one thing I kind of wanted to talk about here is uh, I have this little uh, called the Bitchin Sync. Um, it takes a DIN Sync signal, roll it, core it, doesn't matter. And, uh, it breaks it out into uh, patch points. Um, both sides are the same, they're separate. Um, so basically what you can do, what, I, what I've been using it for, um, is I'll take the DINSYNC signal out of the XOX box, um, run it input, I'll bridge the start stop, run the DINSYNC back into the 303, I'll take the clock out, run it into the depth for a160 clock divider. Um, take the divide by two out, put it back into the clock input on the other side. Now we'll play the 303 at half speed. Um, you can do it divide by four, eight, sixteen. Anything past eight will start introducing a delay in when the 303 starts, so it's not really useful past that. Um, but I've also run the uh, some of the outputs into the um, 138 mixer, read that into a VCL, and then you get kind of a chipsy four channel sequence going. Um, it, it probably works better on our for if you run the uh, 
the 161 um, into the mixer. If you add that to the A160, if that works a little better. I don't have one of those. Um, I got a couple of these barrier pedals. One is the vintage delay um, based off of the old Boss DM2. I don't have one of those, so I can't compare, but on reading about it, it's supposed to sound real close to it. Uh, Scott's got the DM3, I think, over there. Um, so it might sound close to that, I don't know. Um, the other one is the Space Chorus, which is a takeoff of the Dimension D Roland. So I don't have one of those, so I can't say how well it sounds, but they sound good to me. Um, especially, they cost 30 bucks new, so you can't really go wrong. <laughs> um, I have a couple, some more now here, but I'm not keeping those. Um, I got them all in a lot for real cheap, so I bought them for the 